Something happened to me about two years ago that really made me see things differently in life. It was a challenge that was turned into an inspiration of the work that I'm doing now. This moment was at a grocery store when I was pushing my cart down the aisle. There, at this moment, I saw this lady, a deaf lady, who was not able to listen and was struggling to communicate with the staff member. It was quite obvious that she was looking for something very specific, perhaps an ingredient that she needed for the dinner she was making that night. But after a few moments, though, her hope faded away, and she started walking towards the exit, empty-handed with tears rolling down her eyes. That night, I asked myself, what could I have done as a technologist to solve this problem? I started looking and researching for technologies that were available at that time, but there was nothing. There was no application or a piece of technology that could give a voice to the deaf. Now you may ask me, why didn't she just write it down on a piece of paper, or even better, type it into her phone? But just imagine for a second, if the tables were turned, that is like me asking you, a hearing person, to write down everything on a piece of paper rather than just simply saying the words. Now, those of you who understand sign language, please raise your hand with me. Hands down, please. And those of you who do not understand sign language, can you please raise your hand? Wow. Look around you. These hands, these numbers are not going to change anytime soon. Three million Canadians and over 33 million North Americans are either deaf or hard of hearing. In a larger picture, 5% of the world's population has hearing loss. To put that into context, that 5% equals to a massive 360 million people who are either deaf or hard of hearing. Among them, 32 million are children. Now, most of you see the deaf as a disability, but we need to really rethink that, because in reality, it is actually us, the hearing population, who has that disability. It is we who cannot understand them. There are a few ways a deaf person can understand us and our spoken words. For example, reading lips, reading a subtitle, or by watching an interpreter. While some of us have taken classes to learn a new language, such as Spanish or Italian, the chances of us learning their language, the art of sign language, is quite nominal. Think back about a minute ago when I just polled the room. For those of you who raised your right hand and you do not understand how to speak or understand sign language, Imagine a deaf person came to you and wanted to speak to you, and you do not understand them. Where is your interpreter? What if you were that staff member at the grocery store who was not able to help that lady, who walked away empty-handed? Baby Taxi has built a prototype to bridge this gap. We call it the ASL 360. It converts silent American sign language sentences into corresponding text and voice. Now, there are complex hand gestures involved in sign language. So there are multiple steps involved to not only detect and process these readings, but actually convert them into text and voice. For example, Actually, before that, I'll give you a little bit more. So here's how it works. The leap motion technology has a sensor that we use. It captures and understands the hand movements beyond its device. It then transla uh, translates it into corresponding movements onto the screen. Our baby taxi application takes those readings and then converts them into text and voice. So just to give you an example, for the letter T, in sign language, it's like a thumb coming out 
in between the middle finger and the index finger. So if you look into it, what our baby taxi application does is it looks at the distance between each of them in relation to the thumb. Then it understands whether it's a T or not. For example, it looks for if the fingers were extended or not extended. So this is T. I'll give you a quick example of how it looks like. So this is the letter T. If you put it in, the, in front of the device. T. Now, for the letter X, it's almost similar, but it's like a fist with a hook in, on top of it. So what it does in our application, it looks at this gesture, compares it with from the letter A to Z, Z and understand whether it's an E, D, or X. So for this one, it's an X. So I'll put it here. X. So what I have just shown to you are just the two letters, T and X. Let me demonstrate to you the power of this software if I sign the letters T, E, D, and X. Now I'll do the letter X. TEDx. So just to recap, what the leap motion does is it tr tracks the gesture and the movements on the air above it. It then sends that data onto our application. We take that raw data calculate it using very uh, formulas, and then predict what the sentence will be. Then it is converted into text and voice. What we are working on are transactional sentences. And this is thanks to the feedback we have received from a pilot group. What they have expressed to us is that it is hard to get an interpreter all of a sudden when you're, going to, when you're trying to go to a doctor. Or let's say it's a nice sunny day and you wanted to go to the farmer's market to buy some groceries. What they're looking for are basic transactional sentences, and that is what we're focused on. Examples such as, where is the taxi? How much is this? I'm fine. Thank you. These are the basic transactional sentences we're working on. So far, we have been able to translate 20 sentences and we're working on the next 20. But with enough interest and with some investment, we are planning to take and build this database into a much larger one and focus on doing more complex sentences. As I stand before you, gesture recognition technology is going through an evolution. And it is moving at a very fast pace because we are continually pushing its technological limit to the next level. And we will continue to do so until gesture recognition technology is transformed from an evolution stage to a revolution. My challenge to you is let's turn disability, actually what we label it as a disability, into an opportunity. What I'm trying to say is that when you look at a deaf person or a person who is blind, or someone on a wheelchair. Those are not disabilities, those are opportunities. You can build a successful business, and at the same time, make this world a more accessible place. And on that note, I would like to show you how we're planning to give voice to the voiceless. together. We can change the world.